This series of videos will describe the entire workflow for modeling a spark ignited engine with port fuel injection. We'll use Converge Studio to prepare the geometry and set up the case. After we run the Converge simulation, we will again use Converge Studio to post-process the results. We will assume that you have already installed Converge in Converge Studio and set up the Converge license. We will also assume that you have already downloaded the SI8 PFI geometry file from the Convergent Science website at www.convergecfd.com download. The relevant geometry and case setup files are located in the SI8 Sage PFI archive in the Converge 2.2 slash tutorials slash individual cases directory. This is the first of three videos to explain how to set up the geometry. The first video describes how to import a surface geometry and configure Converge Studio. The second video describes how to assign surface triangles to boundaries, and the third video describes how to diagnose and repair defects. Open Converge Studio and click the New Project button to open a blank project. First, select the case directory for this project. Converge Studio will automatically look for input files from this case directory. Click on the button next to Case Directory in the bottom right corner of the Converge Studio screen, navigate to the directory in which you saved the geometry file for this simulation, and click OK. Now you need to load the geometry for this case. Go to File, Import, Import STL, and select the STL file that contains the engine geometry. Note the Scale and Tolerance options at the bottom of the dialog box. If your STL file uses units other than meters, use the Scale From drop-down menu to convert to meters. You can convert units later if you do not know what units the STL file uses. Use the Tolerance field to combine points that are very close together. Converge Studio will merge two points if their distance does not exceed the specified tolerance. Merging points will decrease rendering time in Converge Studio, but setting the tolerance too large can result in a defeatured geometry with additional surface errors. Now, click the Import button to load the engine geometry into Converge Studio. It may be useful to obtain basic information about your geometry. Verify that the View Toolbar and Message Log are displayed. If the View Toolbar is not visible, go to View, Toolbars, and check the View Toolbar checkbox. If the message log is not visible, go to View, Output Panes, and check the Message Log checkbox. Click the Front View button in the View Toolbar and zoom in. Then click the Geometry Information button. Converge Studio will display information such as triangle, edge, and vertex counts as well as the dimensions of the geometry in meters in the message log at the bottom of the screen. Next, you can edit various preferences for using Converge Studio by going to Edit, Preferences. Click on the Autosave tab. Here, you can choose the frequency with which Converge Studio will automatically save your progress in the directory in which to store the autosave files. This feature is useful when working with very large geometries. Next, Click on the Rendering tab. If you do not have a good GPU, you can check the Show Reduce Geometry During Rotation checkbox for faster rendering. Otherwise, leave this checkbox unchecked. Finally, click on the Exporting tab. You have two options for displaying numbers in exported input files. Either set the precision for a floating point number or use scientific notation. Click OK to close this dialog box. On the left side of the screen, you should see the geometry dock. You can use this dock to create, edit, and delete parts of the geometry. If you do not see this dock, go to the View menu and check the Geometry Dock checkbox. In the Geometry Dock, click on the Options button and then on the Mouse tab. Here, you can modify the mouse controls for rotating, panning, and zooming. This concludes the first video. The next video will describe how to flag boundaries in Converge Studio. Thank you for watching.